Welcome to Wagons of Steel. It's a party and everyone's invited. Today, in this video, I'm showing off my son's new car. Actually, it's my car. I'm the guy who has a job. I earn enough money to buy things like cars, even if they are 1971 Dodge Darts. We picked this one up yesterday. I'll show you more video. It's not really in order here. Um, yeah, I was looking for a car for him and his buddies to drag race. He's got a little front wheel drive Dodge Dion that is, uh, I don't really believe in drag racing front wheel drive cars. You can disagree with me on that if you want. The whole car looked like this and it was shoved into some blackberry bushes. Um, I remember this car. I know this car. I won't bore you with the details, but this pretty much says it all right here. 2000. That means it's been inactive for 20 years. Let's see, here's. I'll be learning a little body work, maybe. Reeks of that old gas. V8 power. You know, this car was actually breathed on by wagons of steel once upon a time. You can see it's got the MSD ignition box there. The four barrel intake manifold, four barrel carburetor. That was a fresh uh, air cleaner at one time. Dr. Big Block swears you get this thing running in no time. I have no reason to doubt him. You know, affordable cars, everything needs to be cleaned. Looks like the, the hood you may have gotten it just in the nick of time. It needs everything. Here's the interior. You know, it actually doesn't smell too bad. Automatic. Still got its carpet. I think it'll clean up pretty nice if he actually cleans it up. So this is how it all gets started. One dirty car at a time. Uh, we did try to get it started actually and it, um, it needs a uh, carburetor rebuild and uh, so we're waiting on that rebuild kit to come from Summit Racing, and then um, I think we'll be able to make it run. Joe's very excited about it. He dropped the gas tank full of that horrible old gas, which we all know and love so well. Um, and they made it roll, and uh, it's sitting on the ground now. So maybe, uh, maybe in the next week or so it'll be running. Um, I'm not really in a hurry to insure it or put them on the street in it yet. It's got four drum brakes, which is, you know, I grew up with that, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this did too. And it's, I don't know, I I I I, I don't really want my son or anybody I care about driving a car with drum brakes anymore. I mean, I know it was it was the standard issue back in the day, but that, I don't know. I don't really need airbags necessarily, but good seatbelts and disc brakes at least up front that's that's the least I can do for the guy he he seems to have earned it and uh, we'll uh, hopefully be out at the track with him and his buddies driving uh, I think it ran 16 second quarter miles last time it ran um, we'll see what it runs now the um, previous owner pirated the eight and three quarter rear end out of it which is unfortunate so now it's got like the original issue seven and a quarter rear end which will live for about three runs down the drag strip 
but it'll it'll be faster probably but we're keeping an eye out or maybe we'll just have to build a, a stronger bigger rear end and then i've been uh as soon as i let let it be known that i got this car now i've already been collecting uh, involuntarily collecting small block race car parts so we'll see where it goes from here all i want for this coming year is for the car to be safe to drive to the drag strip and he and his buddies can do something that's uh, productive to society more or less compared to other things that 16 year olds do when they're left to their own devices. So uh, I guess that's it for this week. The new calendar's out. If you want one, you can uh, contact me. I'll put the contact information below. Um, for 10 bucks, I'll send one to anywhere you want on planet Earth. And um, that's all I can think of for right now. Um, Still going to get one more video before Christmas, so uh, keep an eye out for that, and I will talk to you next week.